Do you remember this pop culture moment? Ariana Grande licked and spit on the merchandise at his shop. Welcome to Pop Culture Paint Lessons, where I paint iconic moments in pop culture history and tell you all the drama. In 2015, Ariana Grande was banned for life from a California bakery after licking a bunch of donuts and saying, I hate Americans. Ariana Grande is an iconic pop star that needs no introduction, but in 2015, she was still on her way to her mainstream takeover. After wrapping her Nickelodeon show Victorious in February of 2013, Ariana pivoted her focus to her own music career and released her debut album, Yours Truly, on August 30th, 2013. Yours Truly debuted at number one on the Billboard 200 and solidified Ariana as more than just a Nickelodeon actor. While promoting her music career, she was still filming the Victorious and iCarly spinoff, Sam and Cat. Sam and Cat was on air from June 8th, 2013 until July 17th, 2014, and its rapping propelled Ariana's music career to the forefront of her focus. On August 22nd, 2014, Ariana released her second studio album, My Everything, which pivoted from the doo-wop-inspired sound of Yours Truly and focused on an EDM and R&B-inspired sound. Again, the album debuted at number one on the Billboard 200, selling over 160,000 copies in the first week. When Ariana debuted her lead single, Problem, at the Radio Disney Music Awards, she performed the song alongside a team of backup dancers. One of these backup dancers was Ricky Alvarez, who started dancing for Ariana in April of 2014. These dancers performed with Ariana at multiple events and appeared in music videos like Problem and Santa Tell Me. Ariana and her backup dancers became a very close-knit group, hanging out outside of tour rehearsals and performances. On February 25th, 2015, Ariana embarked on the Honeymoon Tour to support My Everything, and fans began to speculate that there was some romance between Ariana and Ricky. Then, on June 28th, 2015, Ariana performed at New York City Pride's Dance on the Pier, and during her cover of a mashup of Vogue by Madonna and I'm Every Woman by Whitney Houston, she kissed Ricky on stage. This immediately made headlines, sparking even more dating rumors between the pair. After the New York Pride show, there was a two-week break before Ariana began the U.S. leg of her honeymoon tour. On July 4th, 2015, after celebrating the United States Independence Day, Ariana and Ricky visited Wolfie Donuts in Lake Elsinore, California with two friends. As seen on CCTV footage, they enter the donut shop, and while they are waiting to be served, Ariana yells that she needs to speak to a donut professional. I need a little help with the donut professional. Ariana and Ricky dare each other to lick the donuts that were sitting on top of the display as they were being put away, and Ariana sneakily licks two different donuts. She even appears to spit on one of them. After the donuts she licked were taken away by an unsuspecting employee, they brought out a new set of donuts to which Ariana asked, What the f is that? She then responded with the most patriotic phrase she could have said on the 4th of July. Three days after the incident, the shop owner sent the video to TMZ and went on an entire press tour trying to tear Ariana down. TMZ posted the video with the headline, Ariana Grande Tongue's New Boyfriend and an Innocent Donut. Immediately, everyone was enraged at Ariana, mostly for the comment against America, claiming that she was fat shaming the entire nation, and that's not a joke. This is Ariana Grande. Used to be my one of my favorite artists. If she hates America, I hate her. You are no longer one of my favorite artists. Any last words, Chrissy, for Ariana Grande? Stay by to your career. Bye. After this incident, Ariana pulled out of a performance that was scheduled for July 11th at the Major League Baseball All-Star Game concert and was then replaced with Demi Lovato. News outlets automatically claimed that this was because of the backlash from the video, but Ariana was allegedly getting her wisdom teeth removed. The donut shop was then investigated by local health officials because the donuts were left exposed, downgrading the shop's rating from A to B. This caused the shop owner, Joe Marin, to go on a media tirade against Ariana, demanding that she be charged for licking the donuts. Yes, I think she should be charged. I never had a B. I don't like the B rating. Hello, Ariana. My name is Raj. I'm the general manager for the Lake Elsinore Storm. And I'm here with Joe from Wolfie Donuts and Thunder, the mascot for the Lake Elsinore Storm. And we're inviting you, Ariana Grande, to come to the ballpark on Wednesday, July 15th at 5 o'clock. Game starts at 6. To publicly apologize to all the Americans, Joe from Wolfie Donuts, and the lovely Lake Elsinore community. It's now up to you.
Ariana was in the running to perform at the White House Gala for the president, but after her comments about Americans, the decision was vetoed. Ariana made a public apology, saying she is extremely proud to be an American and that she was upset about the childhood obesity rate in America and the poison we put in our bodies. This didn't go over well at all, so she posted a video apology to YouTube fresh after her wisdom teeth removal. It's me, um, forgive my puffy cheeks, please. I'm making this video from wisdom tooth recovery hell. But um, I just wanted to make a video to apologize again for the whole donut fiasco and craziness um, because I feel like the apology that I posted, I was, I'm, I like kind of missed my opportunity to actually sincerely apologize and express how I was feeling because I was too busy preaching about my issues with the food industry, which is like not, I feel like, relative. I feel like I could have expressed myself in a different way. So here I am apologizing again. And, you know, I was trying to get you to understand where I was coming from when I said what I said, but that's not important. I'd rather just apologize. So I feel like now is my chance before the whole thing blows over um, to say my sorry and that I'm actually, I've actually never been prouder to be an American, to be honest, with the advances that we've made in the past couple months and all the wonderful progressive things that have been going on. I've never been prouder of this country, actually. But yeah, um, here I am apologizing to y'all, love you cheeks and all, um, because I feel like seeing a video of yourself behaving poorly that you have no idea was taken is such a rude awakening. You don't it's like you don't know what to do. I, I was so disgusted with myself. I wanted, I like shoved my face in a pillow and wanted to disappear. But instead of that, I'm going to come forward and own up to what I did and take responsibility and um, say I'm sorry because I reacted in a way that I feel like wasn't necessary to say the least, but also just wasn't me at all. I apologize for my poor choice of words and for my behavior. Seeing how ugly it looks when you behave a certain way makes you want to never behave that way again. I was just really embarrassed and I never want to be anything but a positive influence on my babes or my loves or anyone who pays attention to me for that matter or follows me or sees what I do. I don't, not what I want to do. I want to be a positive influence so I feel like I let y'all down which sucks it has not been an easy 24 hours it's been rough but you know I made a mistake and I'm being judged for it which I understand because I watched it and I was just as disappointed and ugh, um, in myself so um, I get it 100% and I'm 22 years old I'm human I still got a lot to learn and I make mistakes and that's how I'm gonna learn I'm gonna learn from my mistakes and I'm gonna learn by messing up and that's how we grow you know we just have to get better and actually act on it and not here to make any excuses or justify my behavior because I can't I'm just here to apologize and tell you that I love you and I appreciate being t able to talk to you so directly like this and that I am very sorry. This apology was much more sincere, but unfortunately the general public did not see it because it was on YouTube. So her team arranged for her to make an appearance on Good Morning America. So we want to start though with that video that made headlines earlier this summer. You were in a donut shop, you were in California. You said some hurtful things about Americans and about people's weight. A lot of people watching felt offended by your words. Mm -hmm. What do you want to say? First of all, I mean, my behavior was very offensive and I apologized. There's no excuse or there's nothing to justify it. But, um, you know, I think that as human beings, we all say and do things that we don't mean at all sometimes. And we have to learn from it. I mean, that's part of our process. We have to learn from our mistakes and that's how we grow. In fact, you put out a video apology yeah. where you said, I am going to learn from yeah, my mistake. Uh, as a young role model, so many young girls and boys look up to you and, and, and I'm sure you've learned among many yeah. things that words have weight. This helped the situation significantly and she even poked fun at the situation when she hosted SNL on March 12th, 2016. A lot of kid stars end up doing drugs or in jail or pregnant or get caught looking at donut they didn't pay for. <laughs> Which, yes, was childish and stupid. And, you know, I've learned that it's really time to grow up. I think I'm in a place where I'm ready to be caught in a real adult scandal. <laughs> a real scandal, you know? Something to take my career to the next level. Ariana had the entire nation against her, but still managed to turn it around and become one of the biggest pop musicians of all time. And none of this would have happened if Ariana Grande didn't lick donuts in 2015.